Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Joseph from English with Joseph. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different, okay? Today we are going to talk about the barriers to learning English. What stops you from learning, basically? We want to talk about the challenges. Why isn't my English fluent? Why is my English not perfect? These are some of the questions which maybe you want to ask. Why am, am I practicing enough? What, what, what am I not seeing? Okay, well, I think there's a few answers to this. The first answer is to believe that you can speak the language, okay? Even if you can say, hello, how are you? And that's all you can say, you're speaking English, even if you struggle with the, the, some of the more complex grammar of the language, you're still speaking English. So, um, the question is, at what point do you say, I'm fluent? Well, the truth of the matter is, I don't think any of us have a mark where we can say, I know everything about the English language. English is my first language. I'm a native English speaker, but if you hand me a technical document about nuclear physics, I probably would be looking at it and thinking, I don't really know what this means. <laughs> In fact, um, sometimes uh, people ask me to check their spelling or their grammar of documents. That's another thing I do. And they'll send me a document and I'm trying to check the English, but I'm looking at it saying, Mm, I, don't, <laughs> I don't really know where to start with this because it's using such unusual words that I don't know and in a way that I don't know because it's a very academic document, where do I start? So you see, even for me, I can't say I know everything about the English language. So my point is, if you can speak a few sentences, if you can get by in daily conversation, then the truth is you're speaking English. And the first stage in learning English or to advancing beyond what you already know is to believe in yourself and to acknowledge and to say to yourself, whoa, I speak English. That's the first thing. It's to really give yourself permission to feel that dream coming true. You speak English. Wow. And from that platform, you can bounce onto the next platform. Okay. So the first stage is to believe. To believe that you can do it. And to believe that already you're speaking it. That's the first thing. Okay. Then there's a second thing. The second thing is to manifest that. Is to invite it into your life. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to be speaking English 24-7. It might mean you have to make more of an effort to speak English, but whatever way you do it, you have to leave room in your life for it to grow. If you're sitting in another country right now and you're thinking, oh dear, one day I hope my English is good enough that maybe I'll be able to go to the UK. Why not just come to the UK anyway and then your English will get better when you're here? You have to manifest it, invite it, and use creativity to create it. Start writing stories. Start seeing things in English which you love and start seeing yourself here, perhaps in that ideal job that you want, you know? That's the first step is to believe that you can actually do this. It's very important. Learning any language is not just about learning the words and learning the rituals. It's also about learning that you can do this. You can come and you can succeed. So, let's get into the practicalities of what this actually looks like, what it means in your daily life. Well, the first thing is with your friends. Tell them, I speak English. Watch the smile coming to your face and watch the smile coming to their faces as well because they believe in you. Isn't that wonderful? You speak English, you know. You're watching me on daily motion. Your English is perfect. Well, at least it's perfect enough to know what I'm trying to say to you. 
That's the first thing. And the second thing is to manifest this, to leave room for it to grow. Don't let the dream die that this is it and that's the end and blah. If you're learning English for a purpose, to pass an exam, to get a better job or whatever, see yourself in it. Picture yourself in that situation right now. Can you see it? Well, these are the tools to making your English better. And remember, um, you will always come across words daily that you don't know. I do. See you.